Facebook. All right, we are going to be live. We're going to let everybody catch up a little bit. Today, okay. we will be talking about new SHOT Show stuff. Some stuff going around here uh, at the shop, all that good stuff. By the way, we are live on Instagram. If everybody I was here to end it. What's our name on Instagram? So there's Instagram watching YouTube Top who's watching Terre Instagram. Terre right. And uh, what's our name on there? Top Guns Terre Haute. Top Guns Terre Haute. T E R R E H A U T E. Yeah, that's not one that connects in it. So, see you guys. It's having some trouble. And that was for Instagram, by the way. It says, Kylie, where are you from? She's from the Hope. She's from here in Terre Haute. The Hope. The Hope. So, a lot of people gave us a lot of. Let's let's call it shit because we weren't prepared for the 365 video. I was going to bring that up. Did you? There was a lot of hate. A lot of hate. hate. A lot of hate going around. You act like we like didn't take time out of the day to do it. I'm happy with it's like, it. Like if you guys aren't prepared, you shouldn't shouldn't start a video. Well, then whoever says that if you're not prepared, you shouldn't do a video. We should never, never do a video. Watch this channel. We should never do a video. We <laughs> never prep. We don't have a clue what we're going to talk about. Well, now, kind of. We, we have today. Like, Basil or somebody made us a list of some cool stuff, but that's about it. Everyone say hi to Cal. So uh, anyway, yeah. There, there's no need to be hateful, people. I don't think Just Facebook. Just came from Instagram Live. What's up? I think there's something going on with Facebook. Maybe Facebook's just out. Yeah, because not, not like right. that. Yeah. So we, we did talk about, and on live, I think yesterday even, we unboxed for the first time the 365. Basil, move this a little more this way for me. So somebody's asking about the 365 giveaway details. We don't know the details just yet. We will be coming out with them very soon. But we're pretty much what we're going to do is we are going to do a um, full review on the 365. And I'm sure that's where we'll give you most of the details, right? Right. Hello, Flora. So, Steve, go ahead and... 365, guys. That's what we did yesterday. If you want to see us actually shooting it, we shot it on our video. I apologize. Apparently, the first four minutes of that video sucked, but that wasn't my fault. It was his fault. He was trying to get Facebook up and going and just couldn't get it to happen. Yeah, it's my fault. So... It's always someone else's fault. It was. Yeah, it's definitely mine. Whose fault was it? No, it wasn't. Of course. Your, it wasn't your fault for going early. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. make, so um, we do have the 365 out. Everybody's asked us a ton of questions about it. And we're just going to recap the 365 here at the beginning. Um, and again, anybody who has ever watched our channel knows that we don't prepare for any of this. Just give me the heads up on that. So, Steve, I know you loved it. Talk to us about it. Trigger, phenomenal. Size, phenomenal. Uh, oh, y'all. Run G19 up there says, would I consider carrying it? Absolutely. I will own one of these guns. That doesn't mean I'm going to replace any of my other guns, but I will own this gun and I will probably carry it. Yeah. On a, I'll for sure carry it from time to time. I'll probably often carry it as a secondary firearm. It is literally about the size of a Glock 42. It's yeah. smaller than a G43. On Facebook and Instagram, we did upload some pictures as a comparison. Um, some people were even asking about maybe the XDS or the, the Glock 26. Okay? Yeah, it's way smaller. It is way smaller than a 26. Um, I think lengthwise, it's pretty close in the grip. In the grip. In the yeah. grip, it's about the same. I hope you all can see that. But there's where my hand is. Compared to my hands, I don't have very big hands. Kylie shot it yesterday and held a group about yay big. So if you guys have questions about the 365, this is the time to ask. We're going to try to get as many of those questions as possible before we do the big review on it, um, before we actually take the time, sit down, do some shooting. And we do, will give it away. And we will do a 90 Absolutely second review. give it away. Uh, quick question. Have you guys been watching the 90 second reviews on here? I want to know your opinions on that. If you like the, the length of them, the information, or if you want longer reviews or shorter reviews, let us know on that. Um, what else we got going on? I know we talked about the carbine last week. Has anyone got to see the Hudson? Round capacity on that one real quick is, somebody just asked, we didn't finish mentioning the full details on that. It comes with night sight. Yes. Round capacity is 10 plus one. Unless you take the extended mag, which costs an extra roughly fifty dollars. Is it really fifty dollars? <coughs> it's for like a magazine? forty-five, fifty dollars. Yeah. Oh, that's sick, man. They're smart. 
here's what they did. They put out a good gun, great size. And gave you two small magazines? And gave you two magazines knowing you're going to go buy their secondary mag. That's uh, good for them. Good for them so, being smart. Hope everybody can kind of see it up close if you didn't get to see it yesterday. So, um, yeah, Baze, that's, that's good. Keep it right there. So, I, if you, you guys notice up front there, now I remember Sig, or no, Smith, excuse me, came out with that, that, that rail that's not a pick rail uh, originally. Um, I didn't know if that's going to work on a lot of things. I know they did it just so it would hold their light on there. Yeah, I, they, they've got a uh, 100 lumen light that fits on it. Eh, you know what? I don't understand. I'm, I'm sure there's something to do with the engineering. I don't understand why they didn't just put a couple of slots on there so it could be used as a standard picture. Yeah, it doesn't rail. make much sense on that. But whatever it was, they have their reasoning. Uh, I'm sure they probably made an effort and for whatever reason it didn't work. At the end of the day, a gun that small, I really don't know that you need to put anything on a, on a rail. I don't, sure. I don't know that you need a rail, period. So I agree with you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put a light on that gun. I don't see a reason <coughs> for it. Um, now, you do know it still has the same type of trigger as the 320. It doesn't have their new little trigger. It has that kind of a, I don't want to call it a hollow Yeah, trigger. I like this trigger, but I like the, the pull, the brake on this trigger, better than the 320. So I noticed on this, I like the trigger on it. If you currently have a, uh, a 320, there you go. It's it's going to be perfect for you. There's nothing on this that screams, "Hey, it's different than a standard 320." Your your size and all that stuff, it's perfect for you. Thumbs up. I I agree. Kylie shot it. Awesome. Now, I'm going to tell you one negative for all you big-handed fat dudes out there. The trigger guard right under here. And you hear on that video yesterday, you're going to hear me bitch about it a lot. But right here, it kind of it kind of rubs weird if you're not used to it right here on the side of my hand after taking 50 shots of it. I am little handed okay after 50 okay. shots uh, it did the same thing to me I, I mean it wasn't to the point where I was show more that's that days right here um, it wasn't it wasn't to the point at where I wasn't willing to shoot it it was just start rubbing and and uh, now obviously they, they put shoot. thought into it as you can see right here they put excuse me right here they put thought into it. Um, they thought, hey, I'm going to cut it out a little bit more, but it's still, for some reason, it's, it's not still the, dug it's into It's not the undercut, bit. it's the side of it. It's the yeah, side of it. It's very sharp. It cuts in. I don't want to but, call it sharp. It's That's a lie. That's not true. No. I don't know. I don't know what it's It's fine. I'm still going to own one. I think it's. I think it literally is the one of the coolest things to hit the market in years. Sure. But I'm going to tell you right now if that... If we had to be picky, that would be sure. the thing I'd pick apart. So... If we're, if we're going to have to pick something apart, which everybody wants to be honest about something, that would be the negative I have with it. Yep. So, Agreed. Um, what else? Extended mags are 12 plus 1. Nine sights. Mags that come with it are 10 plus 1. It is smaller than the Glock 43. It is about the size of a Glock 42. Uh, fits the hand well. Handles well. Shoots well. What do you think? Tight groups. Talk to us, Kylie. I like that. What would you, you like? Yeah. 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 What'd you like about it? You heard it here first. I like the size of it because for me, with me being a female with smaller hands, it's not too big where I feel like it's I can't handle it. Control it. Compared to the XDS, they're they're really mm -hmm. it's not a it's not in the same category. And the XDS is clearly a bigger, bigger gun. XDS, the shield, all that stuff. Uh, for those of you who don't know, somebody just asked that question. I think no cutout for an RMR game. or somebody has that type no. of thing. That's not this gun. No. I mean, give me the heads this up. Not a, that gun. I literally can put that in my pocket. Someone asked if it would be good for a first hand gun. I think yes. Give me everybody the heads up. It I could think it would be, right. be a per, pretty good gun. All right, I don't think it would be an issue. Mm -mm. Uh, what else? Any questions on that? Well, we can come back to it here at the end. Um, I don't think that this is going to be something that everybody's going to be able to get. Right it's, oh, it's going to be a while before you get them. They're, they're, they are crazy, I mean, crazy. We even checked pickings. on things like Gun Broker and there were none on there. We have literally close to 500 of these on order right now. And I don't know that we're going to see, but maybe we'll be lucky if we see 50 of them all day. Sure. Now, I want to tell you something. I don't understand this. It's because SIG and, and Glock and all these people, they come out with these firearms and they're kind of hard to get at the beginning. But you'll notice the company like Ruger, if they release a product, it's, well, it's like... Not, no, no, not necessarily. No, the carbine's been a little carbine, hard. Yeah, like their, their, hard. their EC9 or whatever it was, it was easy to pick up real quick. When they came out with the LCP2 and all that stuff, 
easy to get. What did that person say about the the woman? What did, what did that person just Not say? Not knowing about a good first gun must have been sucked into a job. Are they talking about her? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Were you sucked into a job? I was sucked into a job. Wow. All right. Guy in the middle, what is your EDC? A HK VP9. Yes, I'm a fat dude. I'm big. It's easy for me to carry. Uh, and I'll tell you, Kylie knows quite a bit about guns. Sucked her way up. That's what I did. Sucked, Sucked her, her way, way up. up. That's how you supposed. That's how you get jobs nowadays. Work your way to the top. Yep. All right. So Callie is the dog's name. And People Kylie. Are, and is, Kylie is petting Callie. Kylie is petting Callie. Steve is petting Alex. Uh, okay. So we, we have Eric out at SHOT Show. And the funny part about this is Eric just sent us a text on the screen. Um, but I know that what he just asked us was Nighthawk came out with another um, couple handguns out there. They're kind of excited about. I don't have a lot of information on them yet. Sorry to bring that up, but... Nighthawk, check their guy, those guys out. They released a new $4,000 gun. Can you text him and let him know? Yeah. That sure. answer? Go ahead. Keep talking. All right. Uh, the next thing we were going to talk about. Oh, MSRP on the SIG 365. They're going to be like five, five and a half, aren't they? Five, yeah. Retail MSRP is, is five ninety nine. I would say you're probably going to see retail, out of retail, you're probably going to see it around. Trigger's great. Retail's probably going to be around um, 5 to 550 is what I would say you'll see it out retail. By the way, when you see us answering a question or a weird question, the, for especially for people who are watching this on playback, they don't realize that we're seeing questions pop up on the screen, and so we're answering these questions as they pop up. We're not just randomly thinking questions people are asking. Um, also at SHOT Show, one of the big things is that new Franklin Armory... Gotta catch them all! Pokemon! What was that? Somebody said I was looking like Ash from Pokemon. So I was singing all. All right. The new Franklin Armory... Uh, oh, what's it called? I don't even know the name of the damn thing. They wrote it down for me. The thing that's not rifled. The AR that's not NFA. Right. Somebody just told us about it yesterday. They're using, instead of using rifled serrations, they're using straight. And so if it's not rifled, it's not technically a rifle. Right? Exactly. That's so, how they've avoided that. Um, Indiana. Anybody watch us from Indiana? Check in with us. Uh, they came out with something today, and we don't know that much information about it again. I'm sorry, but the. Uh, that law that passed, something to do with... Passed, it passed the house. They're, uh, basically what they're doing is they're... They were looking at going to constitutional carry. There was a lot of a lot of debate on that. They weren't sure that it would get passed. So what they did was, we are a shall issue state for permits. Uh, you don't have to prove why you need one. And so, uh, in Indiana, what they're going to do, or what they're looking at doing now is, they're no longer going to charge. You go in, you apply for a lifetime permit, you get it issued, and that's it. You're done. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, I think it's kind of cool. So they're, but they're still saying they're going to charge for like a four year, right? For those of you that are reasonably close to Terre Haute, Indiana, for ten bucks you can come and shoot the 365 if you're curious to see how it shoots. So um, the Franklin Armory thing was cool. It came out. Uh, Eric's checked in with us a couple times about new STI stuff. Um, where you can switch packages, check out our Facebook. He did a couple lives on there about it. Um, Hudson, show him that Hudson. We're kind of late to the game on it, but uh, people, we're finally getting them in a little bit at a time. Um, if anyone hasn't had an opportunity to come into a local gun shop and check out a Hudson, uh, the H9, it's kind of different. I'll be honest with you. Um, That's not kind of different. It's different. Yeah, it, I'm not going to elaborate on it a ton. You can see a million reviews on this thing out there. It's got a little bit of weight to it. If you guys haven't had an opportunity to get one of these in your hand, it's got a little bit of weight to it. Um, it does have, here, Basil. It does have a high-vis orange front sight. And not high-vis, I guess it'd be like an HD, like a, a Trigicon HD sight. The bore axis on that thing, uh, it puts your hand very high up, close to grip, the bore. Grip it all the way, Basil. So you guys kind of get the idea of it. Uh, the trigger, see that little trigger right there, the little piece? You, most of the time that safety is on the bottom, like on an 
like a Glock, Glock or a, a Smith or whatever, the pin is in the bottom and the, the release is on the top. And again, you guys can check out a ton of reviews out there on YouTube, I'm sure, of somebody talking about that. The recoil spring, if you look at the end of the barrel there, it is screwed into the bottom. You guys see that? Yeah. You better grip on this. What does that mean? Somebody said Vigo County Zionist. Question mark. I have no idea what that means. I don't think we'll be able to get it to focus properly on it. That's all right. Anyway. So it's something definitely different. If you guys haven't had an opportunity, kind of check that out. Um, we shot it. What do you think about it? Uh, you know what? I, I thought it was good for quick follow-up shots. It shot well, very smooth. The, I don't know if it's for me. I, I, it will not be a gun that I personally will own, but I can see why people are now, so, so interested. Somebody in did tell me about this, and I have no bearing. I don't know if it's true or not. Somebody said after a thousand rounds or something, that recoil spring was coming loose on people. Yeah, I don't know that to be true. But, hey, that's what people were telling me when we had the first one in. Um, double stack mag. Kind of looks, I don't know, what would you call that? More like a Ruger type mag looking to it? I don't even know. But it's cool. It's uh, not for me necessarily, but it is kind of cool. Uh, Colt, all you guys out there that are kind of Colt fans, Colt came out with a new revolver. Um, it is pretty much, it is blue or black, um, and it's a bobtail. I don't think it's going to... Has anyone had an opportunity to have a Colt Cobra, the new one, in their hand? I'd like to know because... Well, what do you think about it? The, the new Colt Cobra? I'm not a fan. It's a little cheapened to me. Yep. It feels like pot metal. Yeah, so... I, and, and I'm going to get a lot of hate over this, but if you guys have checked out like a Taurus revolver, it has that kind of metal on it. Like, it's very... Cheap. Now, I, trust me, Torch Revolvers have been fine for us. Yeah. But the, it's it's surprising coming out of Colt. I just want everybody to know that. Is the dog dead? I really hope not. But she's she's, sleeping. she's super happy about it. People want to know where. Well, there's a couple people want to know where Don's been. I guess Someone he hasn't said been. we're not in. talking about Don. <laughs> That's not good. At Don is here. He is just somewhere in the building. I think uh, we had Eric go out during shot. So Don's in the range. Pretty much how that's been. Callie is not dead. She is very alive. <laughs> what uh, what else are we talking about today? Springfield has a new 3.8. They have that little 1911 3.8, oh, yeah. little small thing. Yeah, it looks like the uh, same platform as the SIG uh, 238 for the bag micro drive. Kimbers. Don, Don is sec sexy. He does look like a bag of grapes, I'd say. I uh, how we started doing that. Bag we, have not, we have not, we've not received, somebody said smile, Kyler. We've not received any of those in yet, right? What? No. Uh-uh. So, those are on order. So, it looks a lot like a 238. Yep. It is just a small 1911, but in 380. What about IWI? They're releasing a couple of items. They're doing a 308, and somebody told me they're doing like a 12 gauge or something. Hey, go back to Illinois, guys. It's actually called us. And we use the phone to record, so I apologize. I know, man, I gotta talk about this too. I do, I have to. We released a 90 second review on a 10 millimeter Springfield. Okay. My God, people are pissed. Why? Because they hate Springfield with the thing that those guys and Rock River did in Illinois. Yep. And blah, 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 blah. Okay. Please, someone can update us on that and be pissed about it all you want. I just want everybody to know uh, we did do a review. Uh, it was a new product. We had people ask about those products. And we'll still continue to do some sort of review on that if, yeah. if that's what our viewers want us to watch. I just want, I just want everybody to know that before everybody gets super pissed <laughs> at us. We get a lot of hate. It's not, yeah, we do get a lot of We get a lot of love. I'll be honest with you. For being as stupid as we are, we, we're cool with that. But, man, those our last video... With the 365 and oh, that Springfield video, hate, hate, hate. Don, player hate Don, the ball. You step behind the couch real quick. Don, please, people want to know where you're at. People want to know you're not people dead. People think that you're gone. I'm Come on, Don. Uh, you don't so, need... what we're talking? Oh, we were talking about the IWI. Yeah, what they come out with? They came out with a new three way. There's Don. There's Don. I'm here. It's like, where's Waldo? How the hell are you? Family videos. That's right. Something like that. 
Someone said. Why? Uh, yeah, someone Barely. said we didn't believe that you weren't here. It's not a cover up. What are we talking about? Steve wants to know what sites you have on your Glock. What sites do I have on my Glock? I yeah. carry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 308 and a 12 gauge. I just want everybody to know. IWI and the DeBoer platform came out with two calibers here. I'm sure the 308 is going to be stupid popular. Go. Uh, I, I use the Ameriglo. <laughs> I don't know if it's called a straight eight or a figure eight. Or, it's two dots. It's not a three dot system. It's a Heine. It's like a Heine. So it's dot over dot. Uh, the front one is a bright orange. Um, like. I don't know what you call it, but just a bright orange dot with the tritium insert. And then the rear is just a plain tritium, one single dot. So I find that in the first time somebody pitched it to me, I thought there's no way. Uh, it's just for a way for the, the <laughs> site companies to save money on tritium or whatever. But I'll tell you what, once I used one, it was way better, a lot faster to acquire your sites. Uh, it's just easier to use. So, so uh, Don, by special request, by grapes. <laughs> uh, bag of grapes came from uh, a 500 Smith and Wesson video that we did. We did a month long series. You guys might want to check out on here. Uh, and Don said bag of grapes. So if you guys can find that, you can comment Don, down below. Donkey. 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 <laughs> the possessed chainsaw. <laughs> oh. Oh, you remember that one? That was so, my mad video because <clears throat> you shot wood. <laughs> All right, hold on. Really uh, yeah. You can go on. What were you saying? We're talking about wood. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, Scar. They came out with the law enforcement. Uh, only. 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 Oh, you know what? Here's a, I'll answer a question. So, right. my, so, for those of you who don't know, FN, for Greek National, came out with a Scar that is made for law enforcement. Which means basically it's a shorty and it has a a stock that goes into it as opposed to folding, similar to what Sig has come out with. And then no, keep talking, Steve. And then uh, if you wonder why I get sidetracked, it's because there's messages coming up nonstop on the screen, and my mind is. Somebody said, "Buy a grapes or I'm a sack of Juia." It. My mind has a hard time. You had to repeat it. Anyway. That's funny shit right there. All right, so, what an idiot. <laughs> so, so anyway, the question that came up was why does FN not make a pistol version of the SCAR with a short barrel and then offer the stabilizing braces, much like other companies are doing? I don't know. I've not asked them directly, but if I had to guess, it's because the SCAR is still an imported firearm, and they cannot keep up with the demand on the SCAR, let alone come out with a bunch of different versions of it and offering it in different configurations. So my guess is rather than for them to do that right now until they start producing them in the States, which they are planning on doing, they're probably going to just continue selling out of what they have. Hopefully that answers those questions. Mike said we should do an employee video on each employee to see what their life We're not that. ACR better than SCAR. I I don't. SCAR, we, we used to carry that. <clears throat> the ACR? Yep. And oh, yeah. There was a lot of... Uh, there was a lot of big debate back and forth early on between the, the ACR, which is the adaptive combat rifle, and the SCAR. Um, at the end, the SCAR just proved itself to be the better firearm. I mean, it's, it's just a badass dude right there. Yep, we're checking up with the HK-433, yeah. Yeah, we're looking into it a little bit. We're not that up to date on it, so. Um, we had a, so uh, we had a full 90 second review on, and a full review on the new Glock, the 19X. We, we haven't had a chance to show you guys that. We're sold out of them already, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Two days. Right? What's that? We're out of the 19Xs? Yes. yes. Yes, we sold out quick. So, we haven't, I don't think we've had an opportunity but to I talk about that. I don't know anything about guns, but yes, we did sell them. Oh, you can tell the people. If you want to be a dick to that guy, I'm fine with that. Someone said, that I, someone said no. Someone said that I sucked my way into his job. Wow. Now Don, on the other hand, <laughs> he did suck his way into the job. Yeah. Um, and Steve's still smiling. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, we have about five minutes or so. Let's talk a couple minutes about the 19X. Talk to me, Steve. Uh, you know, it, it's a Glock. It shoots it's like a Glock. Glock. It's uh, it fits a niche. It's gonna fit guys like you. 
and it's not. I just want everybody to know I'm not a Glock guy. All you Glock lovers out there can hate me all you want. I'm not a Glock dude. Um, the thing I don't want that I do like about it is I can fit my hand on it. 19, okay, lanyard loop, and the biggest thing is why the hell would they came out with a Glock but doesn't fit a Gen 517 mag? It blows my mind. Blows my mind. So if you guys don't know about it, check out our other reviews on it. There's a little cut out there, blah, 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 blah. You can see it. The 90 second video, we cover it too. You can replace the base plates, and I think that's the only option. But why would we want to? I get it. No, I, I, I think it's a, an engineering flaw for sure. You know, they should have made the mags universal. The reason, the reason they did it, the reason they did it was I get it because it's the what military. the military requested. Thank you. Really? Thanks for coming Thank in, guys. What's your doggie's name? Oh, her name's Callie. Uh, hey, what are you doing? So, so the, the what was I talking about? The 19X. They did it for the military. I get it. They had a requirement. Yeah. They had to fill it. They had to do it this and way. And so rather than to switch it up, they let out exactly what the military requested. But to me, I'm with you. Why not make those few modifications well, yeah. so that it makes sense for the retail market uh, and put it out so that it works? Yeah, it doesn't make much sense to me. What, what's that gentleman say? Anything we need to know there on that one? M16 over 200 improvement. And make the, all right, cool. The um, so if anybody has any questions, we got about four minutes left on this live. Uh, if you have any questions on the the Hudson, the 19, the the 365, I'm telling you, you guys definitely have questions on it. We've been answering them for two solid days now. So, what's your impression, Don? Do you EDC medical? No, you don't do that. You don't keep any medical equipment with you, do you? Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah, go in my car right now. It's in there. The EDC, the EDC like on, on you. you, on your oh, body. Oh, on me. No, 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 no. The Security 9. I haven't had to play with one yet. I haven't had an opportunity. I have not so, either. So if, if you guys want to talk about that and we get one in, I promise we'll talk about it the next time we're on. Um, again, they gave us some notes for today because they got pissed because we do everything on the fly, but that's kind of our gig. Uh, oh, Hornady came out with critical d duty or defense or something in uh, hand, or, uh, rifle rounds. They did a 308, 308 and a 5.56 five, or 223 in a critical duty. So, something out there in the market, something new, hell, I don't know. Um, Who's the boss, Callie? Cal, yeah, yeah, Callie. Yeah, definitely Callie. This right. side of the table is... Uh, 320X5. I don't know anything about 320X5? Yeah, yeah, we have them in stock. We've got them in stock, yeah. Someone they're cool. We've got they're, X5 they're good and guns. X carry both in stock. Uh, let's see, Scar Compact. So, I... The big I, thing about that one is it has a non-reciprocating bolt, correct? Somebody did say that. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that has the non-reciprocating bolt, which, in my opinion, is a big, big advancement. If they're going to release anything to the civilian market, that reciprocating bolt, just the way some people hold the fire. That's right. And that, that hurts. It's no bueno. It gets on the thumb, and it's going to take it off. So, uh, what's your carry? Uh, still carried a good old Gen 3 Glock 23. She's worked for me for about 15 years. Hadn't failed yet. He hasn't worked for 15 years. But, but Whoa! <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Oh! What are you talking about? I, gotta I didn't say you. that on. I didn't say that aloud, right? Mm -hmm. Dealing with you every single day is, is work. Now, your other, what's your other ADC though? You carry something else on a regular basis. 642. Yep. Smith and Wesson little five shot revolver. Yep. Love it. Great gun. Great concealment gun. It is a good gun. Um, something else they've noted here: XDS Mod Two. We haven't had an opportunity to play with one yet. Uh, just getting that out there. But again, all you Springfield haters out there, just close your ears for a minute. Um, XDS Mod 2 looks like they just did everything in their standard Mod 2 stuff. Now they just shrunk it down to the XDS. Right. That's it. Everybody's doing that. Um, I, I do have to applaud one company out there. It has to be Ruger right now. Coming out with price point stuff, yep. cheap stuff. Not necessarily super innovative. But they are but less saying, expensive, but less expensive. We're in that. We're in that time to where it's, prices are dipping, ammo is dipping. It's a soft market right now, and manufacturers are pumping out as much as they can to keep sales up. I mean, it's just that simple. I mean, everybody's done a modification on the firearms recently. You know, the LC9s and to the nine, whatever that. But the, the modifications aren't big. Um, the first one that's actually done a, a firearm that's been completely different is Sig with the 365. Everybody else has just changed a little bit here, put a different stippling on the grip, and released it as a new model. It's not really a new gun. It's just it's just kind of reaching for more money from the from the public. Don has an important question for you, Don. Well, that depends. I need, I need to see a picture. Of it. What's the no if you're gay? 
Well, that's cool. You can be if you want. So uh, I think that's it for today. If you guys want to talk about anything else next week, again, it's usually around 1 o'clock on Facebook and YouTube. We're going to be doing ish. Yeah. Fa Facebook didn't work. We're going to be doing a lot more on Instagram here coming up where you get to see Kylie talk. She's going to do a lot of private stuff. Um, that's news to her. Uh, she's, uh, she's going to – what would you do today on Instagram? PC9s are gone. We did have them. But what did you do out. today on Instagram? Let's tell them. I got – if you found me on Instagram, sent me a message, I accepted your follower. She promised me if you follow her on Instagram and send her a message, she will accept you. But they also have to follow our our YouTube channel. Or right. Our, they have to get our, to, uh, they have to get to ours to get to hers. Oh, they I have to, because we did that we did that live video on our Top Guns Instagram. Hey. I don't know how so works. so if they found me on Instagram. Hey, turn your head all the way. Like look all the way this way. <laughs> looks like sticking out. Looks like a rooster tail. It's kind of fun straight up. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> we, I can't tell you my Instagram. You have to find it. Yeah, you it. have to find it. That's the, that's the name of the game. Sorry, guys. So, Any other questions? Check back with us in here next week. Steve, anything in closing? I think we're good. Don? Peace out. Callie? Sorry, I'm a little tired today, so I'm not full cool of energy. Nothing? Nothing Kylie? from you? Nothing for me. I'm just going to keep Guys, we'll see you next week. my job. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Take care. <laughs>